there are several of us that uh, there are several of us that are not um, imaginative. Me mm -hmm. being probably the leader of that pack. So as we try to be unique in our relationship with others, I find that I'm just duplicating what others are doing. Maybe the best that they're doing, and I'll duplicate that. Yet that uniqueness just doesn't come out. Any tips? Yeah. On that one. So. The first thing I would say is, do you actually have data telling you that you're not doing it right? Or is that just your assumption? My assumption. Right? So I would uh, want to confirm that that's the truth, right? Because you could be doing something that people are very appreciative of, right? So what would happen if Chick-fil-A decides to stop saying my pleasure? How many people would be pissed off at that, <laughs> right? Not everyone says it, but what would happen in that scenario, right? So that would be the first thing, is really make sure that your assumption is true. Our gut is normally right, right? So what I would do is start testing little scenarios with you, you uh, own and run, it looks like a UPS store, right? So uh, with you in the store, with your staff in the store, come up with some new scenarios to put people through, right? When you go into a retail environment, most people go, hey, how are you, 10% off today? Right? Maybe you just walk in and go, welcome to Moe's. Right? A completely different scenario, but it makes people excited when they walk in. Right? Or when you leave a Chick-fil-A, you leave with a my pleasure. So I'm not saying copy those scenarios, but figure out new techniques or new language to put people through in your normal day to days. So when someone comes up and says, just saying, next, next. Maybe make sure that people are smiling. Put out a handshake. Hey, how are you? I'm I can't read your name. Hi, I'm I'm Eddie. I'm Eddie. You know how? What did you have for breakfast? What are you watching on Netflix? Like it seems crazy, but then that person goes, "Man, did you see the season two finale of Stranger Things? It was amazing." And then they go, "You know, I don't have to go to the UPS store, but I love Eddie's enthusiasm, and I'm going to go back there." That little tweak on trying to really invest in someone's life is powerful. And so when you're having real conversations with your friends, what do you talk about, right? Maybe there's a scenario there that you can implement in your business.